On today's episode, I'm going to show you how to install Covenant. Quick and easy, we'll get right to it. Okay guys, on today's video, I'm going to show you how to install Covenant. So if you're having problems with your Exodus, not working too well, got some bad news for you. They're no longer supporting Exodus, so eventually it will stop working. But don't worry. Today, I'm going to show you the replacement. It's going to be simple, quick, and easy. So, I just installed Cody. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to open that up for you real quick. This is the fresh install. Nothing's on it. Nice and clean. Okay, guys. First thing you want to do is you want to go up here into settings and we're going to slide on down over to system settings. We're going to slide on down to add-ons and where it says unknown source, we need to click that on and we need to say yes. Okay, so now let's get back to the Amazon home screen. I'm going to push the home button. Okay, over here, let's uh, slide on down to Fire DL. And if you don't have Fire DL or want to know how to do it, click on the last video I did. We'll show you how to do that. So, okay guys, so here we are, Fire DL app. You can Google the codes, um, Fire DL codes. It'll bring you to the website with multiple codes that you can use. Today we're going to be doing Colossal. So let's put in the code. I've already looked it up. The code for this one's going to be 3, 0, Eight, nine, one, six. And that is the Colossus repository. Go ahead and push next. And then on this part, we are going to say yes. And we're gonna click on to Cody. I do have the Cody fork SPMC on this fire stick, but today we're working with Cody, so we're gonna put it on that one. And do you want to remove it? We're gonna say no. And it's gonna tell us that it's downloaded or stored in the downloads folder. Okay. Guys, that was quick, simple, and easy. So let's go back to our Amazon home screen. We're gonna get... Okay guys, now we're back into Cody. So now let's go on down to where it says add-ons. We're gonna click on that. There's a little tiny box in the upper left-hand corner. Let's click there. Now we're going to slide down to where it says install from zip. Now we're going to slide down to where it says external storage. And remember it was put in our downloads folder. So we're going to slide on down to where it says downloads. We're going to click there and we should find repository colossal colossus zip. So let's click on it. And it's saying that it is installed. That's excellent. So now let's go get our Let's go get our movie add-on. So let's get all the way back out. We're still in the add-ons part. We're gonna slide over to where it says install from repository. And we're gonna click on that. Slide down to where it says the Colossus repository. Let's click there. Let's go on down to video add-ons. And we're gonna slide down till we see Covenant. Let's click on Covenant and we're gonna install. It's that's it guys, quick, simple, easy. If you're having problems with your Exodus, Covenant is the one that you're gonna to wanna to go to next. Okay guys, we got now that we got Covenant, um, some people might not be too familiar with this screen. This is the new screen that came with Cody 17. So, if you're wanting to change back to the one they had before, the Confluent skin, we can do that real quick as well. So let's go on up here to where it's, the little gear is. Let's click on that. We're gonna slide over to where it says interface settings. We're gonna slide over to where it says skins. Let's click on that. And we're gonna go over to where it says get more. Now let's go on down. These are the, all the different skins you can use. You guys can experiment, use whichever ones you want. But if you wanna get back to Confluence skin, we're gonna click on Confluence. It's going to take a few minutes to get this thing downloaded here. And it's going to ask you if you want to keep these changes. Let's go ahead and click yes. So now here we are guys. Back to kind of what you're used to. 
Let's see if Covenant is in here. And it is. Let's, uh, let's get that picture on there. So there we go. Okay guys, if you still have this skin and you still want to use Covenant, download it the same way that we just did. So it's still going to be in your downloads folder. We have to still extract, uh, install from zip. So let's slide on over to where it says settings. We'll go on down here to where that says settings. We're going to click on add-ons. We're going to install from zip right here. We're going to go to our external storage exactly the way we did before. We're going to find our downloads folder, which is right here. We're going to go down and we're going to click on the Colossus zip and it's going to install it just as you see at the bottom. Just as easy guys. So let's go then slide on up to where it says install from repository. We'll click on that. There's the Colossus repository. We'll click there. We'll slide it down to where it says video add-ons and we'll slide it down until we find covenant and we'll enable. This one's already got it enabled. I just showed you how to do that on the Cody 17 skin. So now when we go out to our home screen and we see videos, we're going to go on down to add-ons and there's covenant. Now, how do we replace it? How do we put it on our home screen where it's easy to get to? That is just as easy too, guys. We can do that with a couple clicks. Let's go down to where it says systems. This time we're going to go to interface. We're going to slide over to configure skin. Go on down to add on shortcuts. Underneath the home page video submenu, we'll click on the one that we want to replace. We'll go down to we find covenant. We'll click on it and it should be there. Let's go all the way back. Slide on over to where it says videos and covenant is right there. And that's it guys, just as easy on both skins. I will give you a tip. If you want to save the current settings as they are in this one, let's go down to the little power button here. We'll click on it and we'll exit. Once we go back in, all, this, all the changes that we did to our front home screen will be saved. So now that it powered down, I'm gonna slide down back into Cody and I'm gonna show you how that works. And there it is guys, Covenant. So if you're having issues with Exodus, it's not gonna stop. They stopped the support. So there's gonna be no longer any updates for that add-on. So the replacement, Covenant. Go ahead and get it and enjoy your movies. So until next time, guys.